little list of things we have to talk about, and he's trying to help make tools in action better. And he said, we're not allowed to have banter till the end. So, no right. banter. No banter. So we're here to talk about today, And what guys, is that? Is banter. Uh, what we're doing right what now, What we're right? doing right yeah, now. Yeah, there yeah, we go. No See? banter. All right, uh, catch up. You guys, skill 20 volt. What do we know about it? Wait, what's the advantage of 20 volt? I know it's a, definitely a down step in power from 40 volt, but why would somebody go to 20 volt? Because if you got the 20 volt power tools, they're interchangeable. You're not buying new, new tools. You're not buying a new battery platform, I should say. So I could take these batteries out and I could go using them on my drill, whatever it is, whatever skill tools I have, right. which is nice. And technically in the line, this mower right here, technically is a 40 volt because it uses 220 turns them into 40. So does it use them at the same time? Yes. You're saying? Okay. Yes. So if one battery is dead, the whole thing is dead. So if I have one battery that I has believe one so. I didn't cell test it. and one is fully charged. Well, it just says 40 volt, two times 20 volt. Two times so 20 I would assume. is, yeah, two times 20 is, is 40. Yeah, 40. So, right, so, on that, some man. map somewhere, you guys. Um, what's that little list say about features, you guys? We can't go over them quickly, remember. He said not to go over quickly. Zach, you said not to go over them quickly, right? Did you That's say right. That? That's we right. Have to go, oh, you're not listening. Time? You got to listen oh, to this man. stuff. So, But oh, here's man. what's cool. This is the first skill 20 slash 40 volt that we've actually tried out, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And like Dan was saying, this is... So here, you guys. Okay, are you like gonna... I wasn't saying, but go oh, ahead. Oh, sorry. No, well, I don't know. You paused. So if you have like six acres, not the more for you. If you have an acre, not the more for you. If you have a half an acre, not the more for you. If you live on a city lot, you have a small bit of land, the mower for you, right? These 20 volt power mowers are not designed to go the long haul, right? They're designed to get your little lots nice and clean, get them done and just get done. Which is perfect. And usually if you have a little lot too, I mean, you sometimes have a little garage. Don't you? And this stores up nicely. I yes, like that. Yeah. Hey, I'm just going over the bullet points. And just going over the bullet points, out. trying to throw that in there. You know what I mean? No. So easy storage, like you said right now. And one of the advantages, like we've talked about plenty of times, listen, gas is finicky. You can't really tilt it on its side. You can't store it upright. With battery, you can. You can lift it upright. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. There's Especially no. if you have a small lot, are you really going to want go out and buy your three, four hundred dollar gas mower? No, but that used to be your only option. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, I know some people try to weed whip it, but man. They do, but right. yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, having something like this is nice. Right. So we've seen these entry level ones before, and I'm not going to say this is an entry level. I just mean to 20 volt uh, entry level platform. I mean, there's no mowers below 18, 20 volt. Oh, no. Yeah. So. Can you imagine a 12 volt? A 12 volt mower. <laughs> hey, that might be for those super little lots, right? Yeah. But this thing's got some features on it that we're going to go over that, you know, just your regular entry lawnmower doesn't have. What do those features include? I can't go over them fast. Remember that. No. But Are one of the cool features, two? one of the. I don't make know mad. Order. Do I have to go in order, Zach? Uh, no. Okay, okay, perfect. One of the features I see right off the bat that I love is the one-handed adjustable height. A lot of, well, a lot more are getting like that, which I like. In the old days, you used to have to go to each wheel and do it. Then you're like, okay, wait, is this on three and is this on three? Because you couldn't see it. Maybe this is on two, this is on four. I hated you that. Know? I was always off one. It was always wobbly. I was like, eh. Yeah, I mean it was yeah. The one handle so, system is great, is awesome. guys. That's a good feature. What's next, Eric? Oh, like you wait before you said it folds up in the garage. Yeah. You can just put it up so the handle's like this, you guys, and then you can just fold it up and it goes up tight anywhere. Right? That's well, actually which is a huge great feature. to throw on the side or something so it's not in the way. I mean, there's especially in wintertime. You know, if you're in the place that snows, obviously it's nice just to put it on the way. You know. Right. Um, okay, so this is a two-in-one mower, basically. So what it does is you can either bag or you can mulch. We got the plug, we, we got, got the, the bag. Um, and one kind of neat thing about the bag that I noticed was what's that little flapper on the back? Um, it, the flapper is if it's up, you're getting airflow. It means the bag's not full. And when it's down, airflow stops, so you pretty much have a full black bag. And it, I think that's actually cool because I can't tell you how many times like I bag all the time that I'm bagging and I got I'm sitting there I actually kick it and I'm like, oh, I think it's full. I don't think it's full, you know? Right. So, well, yeah, and with this, you know, when you do get it full and those bags are heavy. Yeah. This was like three quarters full and it, the, the thing went off. So it's like I didn't have a super heavy bag to go dump. Nice, nice. So that was cool. Nice. Well, did we spend long enough time on there? I'm nervous. Are we good with that, Zach, you think? Yeah. yeah that's we're good. Sweet, okay, what's next? Sweet. Easy source. Three adjustable heights. Okay. That's something that I think is a is a big deal. Um 
So you can adjust. Now, just so you know, there is a couple safety features on here. So on the front, actually on the top in the battery compartment, one of the safety features is you have an on and off switch here. Now, safety just switch. Safety switch. So make sure it's in the off mode or safety switch in the off when you're not using it. Okay, that's or the batteries are out. Right, that's gonna prevent anybody from not, you know, kids using it or something like that. Yes. I mean, the, there's still a safety system up there. You have to hold the red button in and pull the bar, but just kick it off there and you're good to go. It's not gonna drain your battery. Well, and there's another safety feature too, is you have to make sure that this is fully extended out. If this is not locked into place like that, it's not gonna start. So it's another safety feature. That Which we have. found out earlier. Well, me and Zach Eric yeah. came out and rescued us. So that, and then like Dan said, you can't just pull this and start it. So again, you gotta push on this button, pull up, and then it will start the mower. But like we're seeing is there's three height adjustments for the handle. So you can have it, so someone who's taller, who wants it up a little bit higher, it's nice because you're not sitting bending over. But again, with someone who's short, you can put it on a, a lower setting so it's not up here in your face when you're trying to maul. Yeah, so and it was like actually that. easy to pick up with the handle, like this big handle here and right here, grab handle. It was easy to pick up throwing your vehicle or whatever. I mean, obviously look at our table, it's full of grass. Uh, you know, you're gonna get grass in your vehicle if you move this around, mm -hmm. pickup truck, whatever. Yeah. One cool feature that, that we should have probably mentioned before is the actual batteries themselves. Oh, quick charge. Or they have, quick charge. yeah, it's basically the power cord, so quick thing. So there's a couple things that I like about it that we haven't even talked about. Is one thing I like that I used to never, I used to always be against. I actually like the plastic deck and the plastic housing. Um, I used to always be against it, but having um, some of these types of mowers since 2014, I haven't had any break on me. I love them. I love the fact that it's lighter weight. I don't have to deal with rust. But the other fact that I do like is I like in certain spots, like right here, this is metal, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. There's metal pins on there. So I feel like with something like this, even here, this plate is metal. So the places where things will move, it's not plastic. You don't have to worry about yeah. breaking it. I like that aspect of it. I mean, it's like a good homeowner mower. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they've designed it for you know, to last, like you said, because some people don't hardly use their mower and after like five years, those decks are rusted out. They are. And again, if you put it away with wet grass. But yeah, there's other mowers out there. Like Eagle's got a 56 volt mower. That's got more power. That's designed for a certain yard and a certain user. This one is a 20 slash, what's well, a 40 volt, okay? And it runs off the 20 volt. This one's designed for a different type of user, like Dan said, maybe someone with a smaller yard. So before you just go out and you gotta buy something, like, well, that one's not working for me or this one's too powerful, do your research, understand what you're getting into because this is definitely different than like the Ego 56 volt. Right, and but this does have a dually charger, so when you put the batteries on, it's dueling both and will quick jump both at the same time, I believe. Which is cool because there's other ones that we've tested that take two batteries and it comes out with a single charger, which is a pain because I know for a fact you're gonna charge one and you're like, okay, an hour later, you're not gonna go back out there because you either ran to the store or you forgot. Then you come out to mow and guess what? You're not ready to mow. Just With when this, you're done, you put them on the charger. That's what they, I do. I've been doing that lately. That's what I'm Every time I use a drill, or even if I only use one bar, I put it on the charger. It's probably not greatest for the batteries, but. But at least you're ready for the next time, you know? Yeah, because nice. it, it all happened, it all came down one day. Is this banter time? I'm sorry. Is it? No, this is good. Oh, okay, this go is ahead. banter time. So, like, when my, uh, the other day, dude, every drill and an MPEG I went for had a dead battery. I'm like, what? Shh, take it off. Get another one. Shh, oh, it's on this nailer. Take it off. And it was just dead, dead, dead. Oh, see, I leave mine on the charger all the time. Man. I promise. Sometimes I just can't find them. Yeah. Because people take them. Yeah. Why? Well, uh, yeah. I know. It's crazy. I had so many batteries, and now I can't even find one. Some one. Especially the Ingersoll ran. Really? Yeah, we should investigate that. But that's for another episode of banter at the end of our uh, little thing. But anyways, you guys, skill, where is it available at? Uh, Amazon. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, Amazon, I believe. You know. Um, you know, check it out. Check out the reviews there. You know, see what you think. And does it work for you, right? Remember, uh, 20 volt is less power than the 40 volt, but you have a commonality. 20 with volt is less than the 40 volt? Yeah. I thought this is kind of like a 40 volt though. Well, it is, but I'm just saying 20 volt batteries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are less. Um, all right, don't even, Zach, just cut that. No, that. no, don't cut it, Zach. Zach. You, you start overthinking it. things, Dan. Oh Be yourself, God. bro, be yourself. All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.